Barbara Mora is the author of Using Our Wit and Wisdom to Live Well with Diabetes. She visited the SDPI program at the Chehalis Tribe in Washington State and spoke to elders and staff about insulin and the fear people have of taking insulin. Here is some of what Barbara shared at the Chehalis Tribe Senior Lunch. Manahu, good morning. My name is Barbara Mora. I come from the Diné Navajo people and also from the Numa Paiute people. Recently, I was told I had to take insulin. My experience was like very many people. Seeing my mother take insulin was not a happy experience. Hearing the tales, the old tales about how they had to boil the equipment and people stabbing themselves, that scared me. Sometimes it seemed like it was a very short time after they used insulin that they went to dialysis. I was very fortunate. We had a visiting doctor and he shook my hand and he said, I'm very proud of you for starting to use insulin because all you're doing is giving your body something that it needs. Your pancreas isn't working like we'd like it to work. And what you're doing is you're helping your pancreas. And it doesn't mean that you've failed. It doesn't mean that you're not eating right. It doesn't mean you're not exercising. It doesn't mean like you're doing anything wrong. Sometimes when your pancreas ceases to produce enough insulin, that's why we take insulin. Just like you would take medication if you have a headache, just like you put a Band-Aid on a cut, just like you'd go for your flu shots. It's something to help your life run better. After insulin, I'm feeling almost normal. And if this is stopping you from taking insulin, you need to embrace this tool. You need to use it. Sometimes people say, oh, the needle, I'm afraid of the needle, I'm afraid of the needle. This needle that you are afraid of is so small, it's like a thick hair. In fact, I'm holding my beading needle. It's on top of my beadwork. And I can honestly say, this is a very little needle. It goes right through size 11 beads. It is small. And just like the beading needle, it can be used to make beautiful things beautiful things you can have a beautiful life in front of me i have beadwork out and i look at this beadwork and without this needle i wouldn't be able to create beautiful things and i looked at the size of the insulin needle and it's very small this is a tool to let you have a beautiful life the life you deserve the life of normalcy the life of creativity to be at the graduation, to be at the wedding, to be at the family reunion. And this is just a tool to make your life better. I can truthfully say, I wish I'd started on insulin sooner. Before that time, I suffered infections, usually bladder infections. I was miserable, I couldn't exercise, I couldn't walk, I was dizzy, but yet, it stopped at insulin. No, I wasn't going to take insulin. No, I wasn't going to do it because it would mean I failed. And I looked at it in the wrong light. Had I taken insulin sooner, I would have had a happier time. I would be more productive. I'd be healthier. And I hope you'll get over your fear. We're courageous people. You need to do this for yourself, for your family, for your people. This doesn't mean you fail. This means you're a warrior. You're taking that strong step and you're saying, I'm not going to let diabetes defeat me. Diabetes will never have me. It will never have you. We're stronger than that. We live beyond diabetes. We're warriors. We're warrior people. Oh. Barbara Mora is the author of the Division of Diabetes book, using our wit and wisdom to live well with diabetes. She can be reached at D-I-N-E-E 49 at earthlink.net and on Facebook at D-I-N-E-E Mora. Her book and audiobook on CD can be ordered at no charge at www.diabetes.ihs.gov and click on online catalog.